So we're in the Gion district of Kyoto, uh, one of the main ancient quarters, uh, old town. And uh, we are staying in a uh, converted old house by a company called Machia Residence Inn. So they take old houses and then modernize the interior. And this one is called Gion Shirakawa Koki. So let's take a look inside. So this is the entrance. So here you have a kitchen area. This is the uh, living room, or not living room, this is the uh, dining room, I should say. So it preserves kind of the, a traditional Japanese style decor and architecture, but uh, adds all the modern comforts and conveniences that uh, people come to expect from a higher end property. So this is uh, one of the common areas with the flat screen TV. There's a little yard, Niwa, in the back. And then some uh, cute little uh, adornments here. So small little garden, which is kind of nice because Gion is a pretty packed in old quarters with not much space. So any comfort will come in handy. Some really nice uh, artwork over to the right. There's actually several bedrooms and bathrooms here in this. Uh, Shirakawa Koki, dual vanity, walk through, you have a shower, and a separate bathtub. So you come around, so straight ahead is where we came from. To the left is the uh, tatami living room over here is the toilet again with modern conveniences like uh, the toto style toto washlet and then for those who care there is even a washer and a dryer combo machine courtesy of sharp And then there's another small little tatami room. Looks like it's a kind of a, yeah, it's in the mold of a tea ceremony room. So you can see this is where you, the equipment you need to conduct a tea ceremony. And all these uh, door, what these, these sliding closets, there's storage areas, or I don't know what, what's in them, but there's a lot of them. Sure, some of them are closets, but again, we just arrived, so kind of exploring this place along with everyone else. So now we're going to go up to the second floor. So as you come up, this is kind of nice. So here's the bedroom. Looks like there's some poems written along this, uh, this area. The tatami rooms downstairs can also be, uh, you can take out futon mattresses and uh, for families, things like that. 
So you can sleep quite a few people, and there's no restrictions. Well, at least I'm not aware of that uh, Machia residence places in terms of the number of people that can stay here. Anyway, so this is uh, a shower and a toilet. And then again, another room. So all these rooms, you know, in, in the traditional Japan um, way, Japanese way, they turn these kind of tatami or zashiki rooms into uh, bedrooms. You can just pull out the futon from the closet. So um, you, there's only so many living rooms and family rooms that you kind of need, especially when you're on vacation. So as you can see, you can sleep quite a few people, especially if uh, they don't mind a bed or even prefer a, a futon. So a nice little lantern or light with some uh, Japanese sayings on it. So yeah, so, so you, you get kind of a sense of place being here in uh, the Gion district of Kyoto. And you feel like you're getting that Japanese experience without sacrificing any of the modern amenities. So that's the um, purpose in this, behind the Machia Residence Inn. This is just one of them. They're all detached houses. So they're, they're clustered in a certain area within Gion, but they're, they're not in a, like a hotel or even apartment building in, their in the traditional sense. So this is one of them called Shirakawa Koki in Gion, Kyoto.